When it comes to property of the politicians, it's hard to put exact price tags onto it. We've rounded up several lists, taken into account the size of the property, the average cost of the property in the city per square meter, the property's history, who resides there, and whether there have been upgrades or refurbishments. We've also worked on the current exchange at the time of writing this video, so let's go house hunting and delve into the 15 of the most expensive homes of politicians. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 15. Qasr Al Hakum, Saudi Arabia, $15.1 million. 15.1 million is a paltry sum when you compare this property to our number one property. Located in Riyadh, this site has been the home of the headquarters of various kings and prime ministers since 1901 when King Abdulaziz captured Riyadh. Qasr al Hukum, also known as the Justice Palace, is Arabia's traditional seat of government and the official residence of Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the current Prime Minister. However, it must be noted the Prime Minister has chosen not to live there and resides in more modern palaces around Saudi. It spans 11,500 square meters and has been rebuilt three times over the past century. Number 14. Mahlamba Nglopfu South Africa, $15.4 million. Mahlamba Nlopfu, formerly called Libertas, is where the President of South Africa resides. It's been the head of government since 1940 and is located in Pretoria. When Jan Smuts was Prime Minister, he arranged a national competition to find an architect to construct the new residence of the head of state. At that stage, Gerard Mordiek had already designed the Voortrekker Monument and the University of Pretoria, so his win was no surprise. It's currently occupied by President Cyril Ramaphosa, who took office on the 14th of February 2018. Number 13. Los Pinos, Mexico, $16 million. The site where the official residence of the President of Mexico resided from 1934 to 2018 is steeped in history. Many things happened in between, but in 1934, President Lázaro Cárdenas took over the office and opted to stay in the Big House as opposed to the castle of Chatapultepec, which he found to be too ostentatious. It remained the home of the President's until 2018, when the current President Andrés Manuel López Obrador opened the grounds to the public and moved the presidential offices back to the National Palace, where he lives today. Number 12. Palacio de Alvarada, Brazil, $21.5 million. The Palacio de Alvarada, the home of Jair Bolsonaro, the president of Brazil, has also been the residence of Brazilian presidents since 1958. It's located in the capital, Brasilia, and was designed by Oscar Niemeyer, with construction completed in 1958. The Palacio was the first official government building in the new federal capital and boasts a cinema, games room, auditorium, medical center, a chapel, and a helipad close by, library, noble lounge, and a music room. The perfect abode for a president and his family. Number 11. Quinta de Olivos, Argentina, $24.4 million. Located in Buenos Aires, this is just one of the official homes of Alberto Fernandez, the president of Argentina. In 1774, a prime section of the land was bought by Manuel de Basalebaso. His daughter, Justa, married a military officer who was responsible for establishing some of the first apiaries on the grounds. After her death, her husband inherited the land and it was passed on to their son who converted it into an equestrian estate. And so the land passed on through hands many times until it was eventually deeded to the Argentine government. They introduced a heliport, chapel, mini golf course, and more. The first president to live in the house was General Pedro Aramburu. Number 10. The White House, $40.8 million George Washington can be credited for choosing the site for the White House in 1791. In 1792, the first cornerstone was laid and it took eight years to construct. The house has 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, 28 fireplaces, and three elevators. The kitchen can serve 140 guests with a plated meal and hors d'oeuvres to over 1,000 guests. The White House has had a few other names since it was built, including the Executive Mansion, President's Palace, and the President's House. Number 9. Elysee Palace, France, $121 million. 
This not-so-humble abode is where the French President Emmanuel Macron resides. It was completed in 1722 and was originally built for Louis-Henri de la Tour d'Orvonnier. During the provisional government of the Second Republic, it became the official residence for the president. In 1853, Napoleon III had the palace renovated while he stayed at Tuileries Palace. He had a secret tunnel linking him to Élysée Palace, which is how he managed to secretly meet his mistress. Sadly, the tunnel has since been demolished. The Élysée Palace is private. Any visitors or foreign dignitaries stay in Hôtel d'Amérique, bought by former president Charles de Gaulle, because he wanted to avoid meeting kings walking around my corridors in their pajamas. Number 8. The Moncloa Palace in Spain – $158 million Pedro Sanchez calls Moncloa Palace home. It hasn't been the official presidential residence for very long, only since 1977 when the official residence was moved from the Palace de Villa Mejor by Aldolfo Soares. Originally a farm, Moncloa Palace became a palace because of its perfect location. It was bought by the Marquis of Carpio, Gaspar de Aro y Guzman, and Elish, who own the orchard of La Moncloa close by. There are 16 buildings, a hospital, and a bunker. Number 7. Rosh Chapati Bhavan, India – $568 million it's a huge jump in value from Spain to India when we visit the official residence of the President of India. Rashtrapati Bhavan was the Viceroy's house before independence, but now it's the home of Ramnath Kovind, India's president. It's a sprawling estate of 130 hectares and houses the Mughal Gardens and housing for residence staff. Located in New Delhi, Rosh Tripathi Bhavan took 17 years to complete with the help of 29,000 workers and 700 million bricks. It's open for public viewing and you can really get lost in the gardens and be dazzled by the beauty and range of interesting things to see. There's the Children's Gallery, by the children for the children, a kitchen museum which delves into the history of the meals prepared for the mansion, including a display of the utensils used since 1911 when India's capital changed from Calcutta to Delhi. Number 6. Presidential Complex, Turkey – $710 million Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the current president of Turkey, built an entirely new palace on the outskirts of Ankara. It was meant to cost roughly $350 million, but you know how these projects go. One minute you're budgeting $350 million, the next you're dropping over $700 million. It has come under fire with ecologists claiming it to be an environmental blight and opposition stating it proves the president has autocratic tendencies. Ask the man himself and he believes it's a drive towards the new Turkey. The original mansion, Sankaya Presidential Mansion, is the prime ministerial compound. The new palace is home to the country's largest library, with over 5 million books gracing its shelves. Number 5. Kante, Japan – $768 million Shusho Kante, or simply Kante, is the official residence of Japan's Prime Minister. He not only lives there, but all daily duties of his cabinet are performed there too. Foreign leaders are entertained there and there is a National Crisis Management Center. After the Meiji Restoration, a national parliament was established and it was the first time there was a Prime Minister of Japan. It was decided in 1885 that an official residence for the Prime Minister was needed. Number 4. Quirinale Palace, Italy – $1.285 billion Hey Luxers, we've officially hit the billion dollar mark and it's this historic building located in Rome, Italy. This is just one of three official homes of the Italian president. There's also Villa Rosberry in Naples and another estate on the outskirts of Rome. The palace is massive, 20 times larger than the White House. Sergio Mattarella is currently enjoying the spoils of this palace, which has over 1,200 rooms and has been home to 30 popes, four kings, and 12 Italian presidents. Number 3. The Kremlin, Russia – $1.63 billion the Kremlin is a city within a city and it is monumental in size. When translated, Kremlin means Citadel of Fortress. It is the official residence of Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. Despite being the official residence, Putin chooses to live outside of Moscow. 
The history of the Kremlin goes as far back as 1156, when Prince Yuri, founder of Moscow, had a wooden fortress built there. The Kremlin that we see today was only constructed in the 15th century, and it was thanks to efforts by Ivan the Great, who dreamed of building a capital that would be as great as Constantinople. He hired architects from Italy, and much of their work still stands today. Number 2. Cheong Wa Day, South Korea, $1.5 billion. Cheong Wa Day, translated, means Pavilion of Blue Tiles and is the official residence of Korea's head of state. Located in Seoul, Cheong Wa Day is made up of many buildings incorporating mostly traditional Korean architectural style, but also splashes of modern architectural elements and facilities. The entire complex sprawls across 62 acres and is home to Moon Jae-in. After Korea was liberated, independent Korea's first president, Syngman Rhee, changed the name to Jiang Mu Day, and it was changed to Cheong Wa Day in 1960 by the then president, Yan Po Sun. Number 1. Songnan Hai, China, $42 billion. Nothing can come close to the value of Songnan Hai, the home of Politburo Standing Committee members. Although it's their formal residence on paper, many choose not to live there. Xi Jinping, current General Secretary of the Communist Party, goes into the compound to do all of his daily activities but doesn't live there either. How the compound looks is very similar to how it looked during the Ming Dynasty early in the 1400s. The name means Central and Southern Seas or Lakes, which refers to the two lakes found inside of the compound. It was first built in the 10th and 13th centuries as a playground for the elite and their entourage. So, Aluxers, have you been fortunate enough to see any of these politician homes yourself? If so, which ones have you seen and how were they in person? Let us know all about it in the comments. And since you stuck with us until the end, of course, we've got a bonus. Someone who doesn't need to reside in a home that's worth millions is Jacinda Ardern, the 40th Prime Minister of New Zealand. Her abode is Premier House, which was originally a wooden cottage bought in 1865. Up until 1990, it was a dentist clinic for children, but it's since been renovated and enlarged to incorporate a ballroom and conservatory. There are current renovations underway which are long overdue. The ministerial services confirmed the house needed significant investment for structural repairs and work, including roof replacements. This needed to be done to uphold the healthy home standards government put in place for rentals. And there you have it, Aluxers, some of the most expensive homes of politicians. We hope you enjoyed this one. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And as always, if you haven't already, subscribe for more great videos every day.